Fuck show, we out in about high of 91 degrees. We have brought in Allegheny at the McDonald's. Come down here, get your free sandwich right now. We still have a what have y'all been doing? Uh, I've been just been working out, staying out the way. Yeah. Trying to uh, get back to you. Uh-huh. Sheree, you're actually giving back this weekend. This is your first charity weekend, right? It's happening tonight at Chicky and Pete's, and then tomorrow you're having a football camp. Tell me about it. So tomorrow's football camp is for all kids, 7 through 7, uh, 7 through, from 7 to 11. Uh, we'll we'll start, so. 17 and under. I know my show, man. Come on, Sharif. Bring them on down. Let's have some fun. Show the kids some love. Some good vibes. We have some, uh, some good football. Some good fun. Some good fun. Some good people. There's some good speeches. We've got a lot of great people coming by. Yeah. Uh, tell their stories. So it's going to be something to look forward to. Yeah. Yeah, you went to Penn State. Yes, ma'am. So, and you, you got actually went pro. So for anybody out there playing football, anybody young, you know, what does it really take to come from Philly and really make it pro? For me, it was hard work. Uh, basically being dedicated when, when things go down and stuff get hard, you know, just be able to persevere throughout the, um, the hardship. Yeah. Now, when you say that, explain to them about dedication, because it's just not about the physical thing. Uh, you know, it's about the mental part also. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Um, studying extra, doing, yeah. things, doing things extra after practice.
you see it. Reporting live at WIP. Maybe four. Somebody get Mike a high chair. <laughs> so nobody's seen Greg jump out of the chair. Leaped out of his bed. That's what threw me out of That was slippery. Like a check. Like a check. Championship last year, I played. <laughs> 13 to 6, caught the game, won the touchdown. Uh, Publicly, public league championship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last time you guys won the state game? No, I said, let me tell you. Yeah. So, North, yeah. Northeast first. City championship. Yeah. We beat them, but it was like 42 to nothing. I mean, that was the doctor. Wait, we'll get it. Wait a minute. Oh, That's everybody choked. choked. I, I think the defense good. choked. No, listen, listen. I think the defense choked. What's your name, sorry? Oh, my name is I don't know what I'm saying. Freak boys, man. What's wrong with you? Barry White? What type? Manager, should I say? I'm the trainer. He's your friend. I'm the manager. Trainer for This is the manager. Yeah. My, my boss. Yeah. Trainer. Your manager. No, no. My wallet is the manager. Your manager. Greg. Your last name? Garrett. Greg Garrett. Just say level 40, baby. I don't know who you Level 40 is an hour. We represent to the first game. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Welcome to the Post of Philly podcast. Andrew Porter's special guest joining me today. Uh, two public league stars. We have Deion Barnes of the New of the New York Jets now, formerly the Northeast Vikings, and the Penn State Indian Lions. We have Sharif Floyd of the Minnesota Vikings and George Washington Eagles, also the Florida Gators. We have <laughs> we, and he's got his uh, he's got his swing on. Sound that alarm, baby. Sound the alarm. alarm. We got his <laughs> Greg Garrett, the trainer here, Mike Wallace, the manager here, the whole crew's here. So uh, what's up, guys? Oh, no. Y'all can't see it, man. Mike ain't here looking like a turtle out of the shell. <laughs> turtle dove. Turtle you gotta, dove, you gotta speak into the mic. It's not even oh, coming up. Here you go. You're never fine. There you go. I'm good. <laughs> so, wait, we were just talking about the high school football. And oh, yeah, when we won the chip the yeah, last year I played. About that. Yeah, I scored the game with a touchdown. Uh, blocked the punt. Yeah. Had about 10 tackles yeah. a sack. Uh, this, we held up the trophy. How many times y'all won in the last 10 years? You're this your first fun. time. Did I mean, y'all got an annual party. I know when I went out, year. when I went out, we won a chip, and that's all that matters. And Mike was on the sideline crying, oh, <laughs> like in tears. Hugging Coach, a grown man. This Al Bundy over here. I scored thirty-two <laughs> touchdowns. Yo, your mic is right there. Forty to nothing. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. You know, the year before that, it was forty to nothing. <laughs> that doesn't, that doesn't so matter. I guess we had to give y'all a chance. I mean, I, I mean, it doesn't matter. I have a three peat ring. Yeah, so yeah. so three three peat four ring. Peat. Wait, so you, first of all, you come from Penn State. There's a lot of Penn State stuff going on in the news. Yeah. I've been fighting it all yeah. all week. Yeah. What's up? What's up with this Joe Paterno stuff? And like, are you staying away from that? Oh uh, yeah, when I was about? there, I stayed away from it. I'm staying away from it now. I mean, I don't, I don't know what was going on in in '99 or whenever it was. I never seen a man. Ain't got nothing to do with me. None of the sanctions and stuff had to do with football. I didn't understand it, but you know what I'm saying it is what it is. I mean, um, we can't do nothing about it. So now you're at the Jets. Their quarterback situation is, pro I mean, they arguably the worst in the NFL. They would say uh, you got you got Christian Hackenberg coming in. You you don't you didn't play with Hack, but did you know Hack from Penn State. No, I play I played with Hack. For, oh, you did? Uh, yeah, I played when it was freshman and sophomore year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, your thoughts on Hack? Are you guys close? I mean, we NFL prospect. we cool. I ain't. That's not my buddy. I want to really. I ain't really hang out with him or nothing. Right. But I want to say the quarterback situation is kind of bad because OTAs and minicamp. Uh, Gino and Gino was doing pretty well. I like Gino. I yeah. defend Gino. Yeah. And he's gonna. It looks like he'll get a shot. I don't know, but I have no idea. Yeah. I ain't. That's upstairs stuff. But I'm just telling you off what I seen. He throws some good balls. I think they all have been doing a good job from my perspective. You know that really doesn't matter. But right. I'm just saying I've seen him do some throw some good. Balls. Gino definitely has improved, I, uh, I believe. We got Aaron Rodgers. He's still got 12, man. baby. Uh, Minnesota, he still got to go up against us. The yeah. thing is, it's like it's like when, so we when, won the North, and you still uh, against us. I hear you. I'm trying to I'm trying to fuel you. I'm trying to fuel you. But it, it kind of comes down to it from a fan's perspective. You look at it, and it's like Aaron Rodgers against Teddy Bridgewater. Nothing against Teddy. I think he's a good young quarterback, but still right. has to prove himself. Defensively, I think you guys have something to say. I think you guys have the better defense, so it's kind of like different formulas there. Contrasting styles. 
I'm going to speak for the team. All right. The last time we played them, they lost. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You can't fight facts. That's you know? true. But coming out this year, we know what type of team they are. We know they're going to be tough. We know how they come in. You know, it's a rival game. Everybody going to have their piss hot. But outside of that, uh, the better team going to win. You know, every each year, that's how it come, That's what it comes down to, who makes the least amount of mistakes. And uh, I think we can just – and this is going to happen as we go. You know, the first game going to go with uh, Tennessee, and then we're going to go into the next game. But until that game comes up, we ain't really worried about it. Like, we know, we know who the division champs are. I don't know if you guys caught the uh, Arizona Cardinals series on Amazon. I don't know if you caught it. It was like hard knocks for the whole season. I actually just watched it the other day. Really good yeah. stuff, um, I thought. But they, a lot of it, they, tell, they obviously showed the playoff game, the, the Hal Mary tying, and then Fitz won, won in overtime for the Cardinals. But a lot, a lot of the talk um, was was going against Aaron Rodgers. He's an ad lib quarterback, so there's a lot game planning for him is difficult. Wait, Freeney talked a little bit about it, but is that the case for you guys? How do you game plan? What's it like playing against a guy like Aaron Rodgers? I agree. I think uh, Aaron Rodgers is uh, one of the best quarter. Well, is the best quarterback in the game now. That the best. I, I think he is the best quarterback in the game now that Peyton's going too, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But Brady would have something to say. Just, just the style, just the style of how he plays. You know, you know, he stays calm, he stays poised, he gets rid of the ball, he, he throws the ball on point. So we just gotta. It's just, it's the same as a playoff game when playing against him. You can't make no mistakes because he'll he'll make you pay for them. And like um, I say, he's a bigger threat when he gets out of, out of the pocket because that's when he's really going to throw it downfield and find an open guy, you know. And uh, Jordy Nelson, his receiver, you know, and uh, the guys that he has around him, he makes them better on top of their talent. So I think that's what makes him great, not not just the quarterback that he is. He makes the people around him better. And, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys play fantasy. I play fantasy. So obviously I know about Bilal Pal. Mm-hmm. Point per reception league, he's a big – Sleeper because he gets so many catches. Forte's the same way. Yeah, they you, catch so many balls. Power uh, will make you miss a phone booth. I'm trying to tell you, man. He'll leave shoes where they are. Really? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, and then obviously in, in Minnesota's backfield, Sharif, you got, you got AP who's 31, and people talk about uh, 30 year old running backs. He's different. He's, he's obviously the workhorse. He's different. 31 for AP. I would argue is probably 28, 29 for an average running back. You know, he he's still got got. Let's see this guy, like. man. I, I watched my first year in Minnesota uh, when we played against Detroit. Uh, the first carry, he, he grabbed that bad boy and went 70 yards. He split through the line. He made a jump cut, jump cut across two gaps, and took off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was impressive. Never seen it before in my life. From an off the side. Did you hit a button? Can we talk about the sound effects? Can you hit that again? 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 Yeah, we got all types of drills. We're going to run through them like an uh, instructional portion where they're going to work with the NFL guys. We got Temple guys. We got local high school guys working with them. So they're going to get the full spectrum of work today. Uh, we well, Tomorrow, we're going to do every type of drill. And at the end of the camp, we got giveaways for the kids. We're going to give away a bunch of different stuff. It's going to be a real good event. Um, you guys are both from Philly. You're Philly guys. I don't know if you grew up Eagles fans necessarily. Did you grow up Eagles fans? or? Uh, we sort definitely of? root for the city. You know, Phillies right. and, uh, and Flyers. Sixers. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was an Eagles fan growing up until they didn't pay me, so. <laughs> <laughs> once they still once they came to the draft, they didn't pick me, bills, so they yeah. ain't paying my bills, so I, I ain't a fan no more. I hear you. Um, what's I it like being up. Philly guys? I mean, I played high school ball and uh, basketball in Philly. Is there like a, a community in the NFL? Like, do you guys gravitate towards other Philly guys? Is that a thing? Uh, oh yeah, for sure. There's definitely there's definitely some sort of uh, I think, I think it's a culture. Lot of, it's, a, it's a lot more Philly take care of Philly. You yeah. Know, when we yeah. hear athletes come back, we, we like to be around each other and uh, do positive things and and actually lift together. Like we all work out together whenever we get a chance to. But um, again, we we just trying to bring back that that uh, brotherly love, man. Because I think somewhere along. Uh, these past few years, uh, Philly lost that, and I think we need to bring that back because we forgot what that means. Hear that? Uh, you're in your contract year. Is that true? Yep. 
Let's you know that. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's that's real. Yeah. Like that's something you guys talk about. I'm sure. Yeah, we like, we sit this down is and talk real about life. It. Like yeah, that's you know? a reality. So what what's a number you're looking at? You looking at a sack number? Anything. You looking at a total uh, uh, total tackles numbers? Do you, you set just, goals, personal stats? What? I'm, Wins, honestly, what, how, what's honestly, like? I'm just gonna keep the mindset I had the past couple years that kept me uh, doing good. Just ball. Just give everything I got. I pour it all out on the grass and do what I do and enjoy what I do. So. As long as I keep being me on the grass and uh, playing how I like to play, I think everything gonna have. Uh, I think everything gonna be all right. I think See. it's gonna be a lot of beneficial years for Philadelphia. All right. All right.